Hello everyone and welcome to At A Glance. This is your host, The Pixel Pirate, delivering previews of the latest and greatest games from the Gamersphere. Today we are looking at a game called Sunless Sea. Sunless Sea is a strategy exploring game and is developed by Fail Better Games. So let's see what the game is all about. Okay, so basically you start off this game with a kind of, I guess, journal of sorts. You get to choose your past, and that kind of matters. It depends on what past you choose is, uh, what your goal is in the game, as well as uh, giving you extra buffs and stuff like that. So, for example, if you decide to be a street urchin, this will give you a bonus to veals, the skill of subtlety and evasion. If you're a poet, it'll give you the skill of trick trickery and knowledge and uh, so on and so forth. So there's a whole bunch that you can actually choose from and I do believe you can get a whole lot more. So we're going to go with a poet and uh, that, that allows me to gain a whole bunch of stuff. Echoes is uh, like the money in the game and uh, we'll, we'll continue on here. All right, uh, so then we get to choose an ambition and, and this is where, you know, this is where you decide what you're going to do, basically. Uh, and these, I believe, are randomized because last time I was able to uh, become a writer or something uh, close to that. And uh, yeah, so fulfillment, gather a hundred tales, learn all you can of the Z. Oh no, this is this was actually the one I chose. So we're going to choose that again. Uh, just because I know a little bit about it. But uh, basically, um, I need to collect as many stories as I can. So as I explore or find more stories, I come back. I can trade those stories with people for different things. And uh, there you go. All right. So uh, let's see here. Last scrap of paperwork. Uh, da, 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 what I want to be called, uh, which will be that. Okay. And then I'll choose my name finally. And we will get into the game. All right, so we're currently in fallen London. The whole, uh, I guess, uh, uh, setting of this game is uh, you're in fallen L London, which is like a gothic kind of era. And uh, you're able to uh, sort of uh, look at all your stuff. So this is my hold. This is how much stuff I've got, a cargo of 15 out of 40. You have fuel, you have food, and you have terror. You don't hold terror in your hold, but uh, you certainly do get it in spades in this game. So uh, basically the whole uh, sort of purpose of the game is uh, to go out and explore. So that's what exactly what we're going to do right now. We're going to uh, pretty much ignore all the other stuff. Just go out and have a look at the world here. Now basically you uh, steer with the uh, WSAD keys and uh, the idea is uh, that you're trying to avoid things that you can't fight currently and you're trying to fight things that you can as well as exploring. So we're going to go out, outside the world and have a look now. When you die in this game, you do die, that, that is it, it's kind of permadeath, but you get to take a, a something with you whether it be a stat, a crew member, or something else. As you can see, I've got crew members up here. Currently, I only have one, my first officer. You do get uh, more and more as time goes on, but uh, currently, um, I have only got just the one. Now, from my last game, I actually kept my map, my chart. Uh, okay, what do we got here? A chunk of grit baked in your ship's biscuit. You crack a tooth and curse. Your crew chuckle, but when the object turns out to be a diamond, small and badly flawed, but a diamond nonetheless, they all hush. So basically, I can hang on to this and uh, appease the gods, or I can uh, do the careful thing and throw it over the side. I'm going to throw it over the side. That'll get me um, a, a stone attention, and uh, I also have a storm. stone, storm, and salt. So uh, basically, that makes the soldiers, the sailors, I should say, happy. Oh, here is a, uh, a crab. Let's get into some combat here. We can show you what that's all about. All right. So we can choose to flee or we can fight. This is a giant crab, a megalops, a rural megalops. We'll, uh, we'll, we'll fight it and I'll show you what the combat system's all about. Now, it's currently paused, but basically you've got these two bars on either side. I am trying to fill this bar up, and I do that by trying to find it, find the uh, the crab here. Uh, so basically, I got to illuminate the uh, the crab, I should say. Uh, I got potent flares, I got flares, and I got seek, and they do all different things. They got all different kinds of uh, cooldowns and stuff like that. So we're going to go with seek, and then after that, when we fill this bar up, we'll be able to attack it. So we've got a salvo and a devastating salvo, and obviously, as you get different weapons with the ship, you are able to. Um, 
get different attacks as well as illuminate and finally you can also evade and also do emergency repairs so let's unpause it here he's also going to do a seek on me so we'll be uh, pretty much on par as far as illumination goes so as you can see both of our bars has have uh, filled up just a touch so we're gonna I'm gonna do a, a flare here it's a little bit quicker than seek but uh, you don't get as much from it all right we'll just uh, keep doing that because it's a little bit faster we might do uh, potent flares as you can see he's getting uh, a bit more on me oh what's this a lunge oh dear all right now we have a full bar on him so we're going to do a devastating salvo it does take a little bit more time than a salvo but it does more damage so we'll do that and he's still seeking us so that is a good thing because that means he can't attack us currently until our bar is full all right that uh, that is it all right we killed the megalops it's very exciting now we can butcher it for supplies we can record record uh, and observations but that's currently locked or we can dissect it and get uh, uh, get knowledge from it. We're going to butcher it though because that gives us some food. So I've lost 24 hunger, which is fantastic. So as you can see up the top here, as I said earlier, you got your hunger, and uh, we have, we only have uh, five food here and seven uh, fuel. So we need to make sure that we don't run out of fuel or hunger, and that uh, by by uh, going back to town and buying stuff. Or uh, going to other docks and buying things as well. Now, I'll just show you the map quickly here. As I said, I did keep my map from my last game. Unfortunately, I died up here. Uh, but uh, basically, you can uh, go to different places. For example, this is a dock here. And uh, this is a dock up here where I died. And as you explore more and more, you'll find more and more docks. And they do all, all sorts of different things. All right. So the faster you go, the more fuel you use. It's kind of common sense. So you need to be aware that uh, you know you don't you don't use a huge amount of fuel whenever when you're just sort of uh, trundling around. So if you're trying to escape somebody, then of course you're going to be using a lot more fuel than you would otherwise. But uh, other than that, you shouldn't be sort of ex trying to expend too much. It's a bit wasteful. So we'll go back into uh, the dock here, and uh, eventually we'll get there. So uh, you can get sort of cornered. You have to be careful and aware of where you're going and why you're doing it uh, because you can get cornered by multiple ships and uh, there are some ships that will just kill you very, very quickly uh, and it's a good idea to flee from those ships. All right, so uh, let's see here. We got um, we can collect our messages from the Harbour Master. We can do all sorts of stuff here. Let's go and do that. Uh, I'm just going to move this up here. Okay. So uh, we can talk to our officers, our journals here. We can sort of have a look at our stories. Here is the shop and here is all the people that sort of sell stuff. So for example, uh, this one is a, a ship provisioner. So she, she has uh, fuel, which we will buy and also supplies. All right, so we're, we're running out of echoes here. 30 echoes, as I said, that is the money. And uh, then you can uh, sort of also buy other various things like uh, new weapons and um, I guess uh, luxuries and, uh, and stuff like that. You have to also keep in mind that your cargo hold only holds so much uh, stuff. So you can't just go and buy everything willy nilly. If you want to have a lot of food, that's fine, but you can't expect to have uh, a lot of other stuff. So uh, and uh, when you find things out in the world, you know, whether you can carry it or not. All right, so that is a really quick look at uh, at Sunless Sea. There is a whole bunch more to the game, and I highly recommend you go and check it out. Um, yeah, there, there's a lot of, uh, I guess, a little uh, f little tidbits that you can uh, do and, and, and interact with different NPCs to get things and, and all sorts of stuff. So, yeah, it's, it's a very in-depth game and um, really a very small preview of the game. It doesn't really do it justice, but uh, go and check it out for yourself. And that is it for today. If you have any comments or you would like to share your experiences with the game, feel free to leave a comment. And if you'd like to know more about the game, head on over to the Gamepedia wiki linked in the description below. This has been your host, The Pixel Pirate. Thanks, everybody, for watching, and I will see you next time.